All right, guys, you know the drill. New day, new creepypasta. This time, going for... Jason the Toy Maker. Now, I... Personally, I don't remember this creepypasta, so I don't want to spend too much time trying to hurt my brain during the intro. So, we're both... We're all just gonna go in and figure out Jason through his backstory together. Let's do it. Alrighty. Now we're going into the backstory of Jason the Toymaker. Now, as I mentioned before, not only in the Herobrine intro, but also I might have repeated myself in the Jason intro as well. Going on this point forward for the rest of the month, all of these creepypastas are going to be ones that I know little to nothing about. Whether I know them or I whether I don't know them originally or I can't remember them somewhat. Either way, Jason the Toymaker is a monster that appears in the creepypasta of the same name, Jason the Toymaker. He is a creature with human features who loves building and inventing toys. Jason the Toymaker is a creature with human features who loves building and inventing toys. He looks and acts like the perfect friend, but in reality, he's a selfish, lying, possessive control freak freak who'll kill anyone he perceives as standing in the way of his goal. His goal is to convince the Chosen, all his targets are mostly girls, to make a promise to play with him for all eternity. It doesn't matter to what extent the Chosen keeps the promise because for Jason the attention will never be enough. Huh? So, excuse me, what? Okay, you know what? No. Let's see here. Appearance. His design was changed back in 2016. His, his original coat and hat look is no longer canon. The one, picture up, the one pictured above is. He looks and acts like the perfect friend, but in reality, he's a selfish, lying, possessive control freak who'll kill anyone he perceives as standing in the way of his goal. He can't stand to be left alone. He can't stand it when the center of attention moves away from him, and he hates it when the Chosen proves to be ungrateful. When he understands the Chosen can't keep the promise and wants to go away, Jason punishes them by transforming them into a wax doll so that they k won't abandon him. Oh. Fool. Oh, boy. Really? Into a wax doll of all things. That, that should have made sense. Jason the Toymaker was created by Chris, uh, Kristen Tell. Jason the Toymaker was once a human named Jason Meyer. His full origin is revealed in this story written by Kristen Dahl, but posted to her friend Ivy Darkrose's account. Whenever he's furious, his appearance changes to reveal his true form. His red burgundy hair changes to its true color, white. His honey-colored eyes become a glowing, a glowing green color. His arms become rotten and his nails become sharp enough to cut through skin. When his appearance changes, so does his toys. They turn from merely fun playthings to little monsters that can hurt and kill. Really? Okay then. Jason the Toymaker has three toy sidekicks. A black wind-up mouse named... A uh, black wind-up mouse toy named Licorice. It spies and controls everything surrounding the Toymaker. Jason almost never parts with it. Another wind-up mouse toy named Red Mouse. Inside of it, there's a mechanical explosive device. This toy was created for exploding at a minimal touch. And a gigantic living stuffed toy snake named Mr. Glutton. It eats the wax dolls after they get too old. Oh. Okay, then. Wow. The only thing besides his dolls that he guards with his affection is a special music box hidden inside his chest. 
If the music box ever breaks or is destroyed, then Jason will die. Really? Okay then. Uh, he stands about six foot three in height. Hey, that's the same as me. That's just about the same as me. Cause personally, I'm six foot. I'm six foot two originally, but if I put on shoes, then I'm six foot three. <laughs> so my shoes just add on an inch. <laughs> All right. So real quick, yeah. Just a reminder: we have this picture right here. But if we look here. Well, there's the original picture right there. Honestly, yeah, now that... What was it? The personality. Uh, no, it's here in the facts. So whenever he's furious, his appearance changes to reveal his true form. Red hair changes to white, his honey-colored eyes become glowing green, his arms become rotten, and his nails become sharp enough to cut through skin. That's the representation right here in the picture. I just now realized he has the black exploit, uh, the black wind-up mouse on his shoulder. That's actually a nice little touch. Uh, other than that, what the? Wait. Wait. Okay. Nice little, nice little friendship we have here. Jason the toy maker, Laughing Jack, who I covered earlier in the month, and then this character right here is named Candy Pop, but she is unfortunately not on the list for this month. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll do another creepy pasta next year for uh, uh, next October. Maybe not. Just depends on how I feel. It did say he, uh, in appearance, where was it? His original coat and hat look is no longer canon. The one showed above is, yeah, yeah. So, talks about the coat and hat. It's talking about this picture right here. Because he's got the hat there, the coat there. I say these all look pretty good in their own way. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.